liftoff. Taiwan's first domestically produced maneuverable space rocket shoots into the sky from a remote part of the country's east coast. The HTTP-3A sounding rocket traveled three kilometers up into the air for about 30 seconds before falling back down into the sea nearby. I believe that this rocket is the first rocket in Taiwan which has its own uh, thrust vector control and its own throttle control, which enables it to um, control its attitude and its flight path to um, achieve our mission goal. It's an important step towards Taiwan's goal of designing and manufacturing its own satellites by 2028. It's been a bumpy road to get to this launch. In May, the Space Centre aborted an attempt after wind and rain damaged the rocket. And on Saturday, problems with the gas tube delayed the launch by one day. Now that the rocket has finally set off, Taiwan is one step closer to achieving its space age ambitions. Taiwan is already a world leader in high technologies, particularly sophisticated semiconductors. Now the country is upgrading its space agency after passing its first space development law and earmarking nearly 1 billion US dollars for the industry. Because Taiwan want to I think Taiwan want to evolve into the to well enjoy or capture the space economy. Right? And, and you need to you know underneath the space economy is a space technology. And for space technology I think the major uh, body is the satellite. But how can you send satellite into orbit rocket? Yeah. The area around the launch site is home for some of Taiwan's 600,000 indigenous people. A lot of the people in this rural village of only 450 people are Paiwan, a name which means they come from heaven. Last year, the community held a referendum, opting to be part of this pioneering project. Here, where the original inhabitants of the island have lived for millennia, Taiwan took a significant step forward into the space age. Damon Lin and Rick Lowert in Pingdong County for Taiwan Plus.